module 7 ambitions and dreams vocabulary and speaking ambitions and dreams first exercise what were your ambitions when you were younger pause and answer this question next question would you still like to do these things now pause and answer were your ambitions realistic pause and answer this question great I hope that you have explained uh, your answer, your opinion by using this example. I wanted to be a professional footballer. Yeah, it was realistic. Now I'm a professional footballer and so on. Next uh, exercise two, match the verbs in A to the phrases in B. So these words should be matched with them uh, to make expressions to do with ambitions. So these expressions are uh, clo close uh, are connected with being ambition, ambitious. Next, start your own business. It's one of the ambitions, yeah? Start your own business. Now pause and do the uh, this exercise. Now let's check the answers. So first, first learn how to drive. Second, become famous. Third, Earn one million. Fourth, start your own business. Fifth, go abroad. Sixth, get married. Seventh, buy a house or a flat. Eighth, appear on television. Nine, go to university. Ten, write a novel. Eleven, go around the world. Twelve, have children. Uh, exercise three, make three lists of ambitions. You should make your own list of ambitions. Things that most people do, things that uh, very few people do, and things that you think are easy or difficult to do. Okay, uh, make three uh, list, lists similar to this one. Okay, great. Uh, next, possible answers can be uh, learn how to drive, uh, go abroad, get married, buy a house or a flat, and so on, uh, or become famous, earn one million, start your own business, appear on television, and so on. Yeah. Next exercise. Uh, next, next. What do we have? A look at the phrases. Mm, language focus one, present perfect, and past simple with four. Compare the two sentences below. Pause and read these two sentences. Okay, now uh, let's read it together. Read uh, this sentence together, yeah? Sting has been a famous pop star for over 20 years. Next, let's read uh, this sentence together. Before he became famous, he was a teacher at a primary school for several years. Okay, which action is finished? Which one continues up to the present? Okay, first question, which action is finished? Answer, please. Became famous, was a teacher, is a uh, finished action. Next, uh, the, uh, which one continues up to the present? Sting has been a famous pop star for over 20 years. Uh, it, it continues up to the present. Yeah? Next uh, which tense is used in sentence one? Which tense is used in sentence two? Okay, I think. Uh, what is it? Grammar. Let's uh, let's check it. Take the correct way to complete each sentence. For example, I've lived in Australia for two years. I've lived in Australia for two years, and I'm very happy here. Or as a child. Which one is uh, the ending of the sentence? Yes, and I'm happy, I'm very happy here is the ending of this sentence. Next, I was in Australia for two years. Which one is the ending of the sentence? As a child, I was in Australia for two years. As a child is the ending of this sentence. So first is uh, which tense is used in uh, sentence one and the sentence two. In sentence one used present perfect. And in sentence two, in B, used uh, past simple. 
Next, what are the past simple and present perfect forms of these verbs? Okay, uh, regular. Tak. Regular, yeah, work. Work is the verb. And these verbs, yeah, these, uh, this verb, for example, work. Past simple version, worked. Present, C and present perfect version, worked. Because it's regular, we just add ed. Next, irregular, no. Past simple version, new, present perfect version, no. Mm -hmm. Next, practice. Use eight of these ideas to make true sentences about yourself, people you know, or etc. Examples. I've had my mobile phone for three months. My father has worked as an engineer for more than 20 years. Yeah. Uh, I think you already know several things to make up uh, sentences like this. Uh, use these prompts. For example, I have had my uh, car, etc. for five years and so on. Yeah. Pause and uh, make eight sentences. Did you do it? If not, please pause and do it because we're going to uh, check. No, we can't check it because uh, it's about you and the people you know, yeah? And different people have their own lives and it's different. Uh, next, six verbs that are the same in all forms. Uh, we learned irregular and uh, regular verbs you should learn them by heart for example cost 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 buy bought bought run rain run break broke broken this is infinitive yeah uh, verb uh, they this is second column past simple this is third uh, column uh, past participle we call it past participle uh, next language focus present perfect and past simple with other time words Robbie left school in 1995. Okay, let's see. Amit, Hannah, Lucy, Kate, Edward. Where is Robbie? Uh, no, Robbie, because he left school in 1995. He's remembering his old school friends. Complete the sentences using the verbs below. These are the verbs that you need to complete these sentences. Pause and write these uh, verbs in your copybook. Now, uh, pause and do this exercise, complete the gaps using the words that you have written in your copybook. Okay, can we check it? Let's check. Now, let's check. Uh, first, had. Second, was. Three. I will, I will read, not third, fourth, I will read three, four, five, okay? Three went, four wanted, five didn't go, six spent, seven studied, eight decided, nine didn't enjoy, ten liked. Liked, uh, she liked, uh, sorry, what happened here? Uh, Hannah mm, didn't enjoy school at all for some reason. The only subject she liked was geography. Ah, correct. Uh, next, Robbie contacted his old friends uh, through the old friends website. What do you think they are doing now? Read the text opposite and find out. Okay. Uh, you will read this text and answer this question. Robbie contacted his old friends through the old friends website. What do you think they are doing now? Okay. Uh, Pause and answer this question first. Mm -hmm. Now you will find out the real answer in the text. Pause and read the text. Pause and read the text. Uh, next, next. Okay, let's read the text together. During the last 10 years, Amit has had 10 different jobs. He was working in the import-export business. He has been an estate agent and now he has just started his own company which sells mobile phones, but he hasn't made a million pounds yet. Edward has moved to the United States where he 
now works designing computer games. His most popular game, Death Trap, has already sold over 10 million copies and has made him very rich. He isn't married, and in fact, he's never had a girlfriend, and he still spends most of his time playing computer games in his bedroom. Lucy is an actress and a part-time waitress. In the last few years, she's appeared, she's appeared in several plays, plays and a couple of TV commercials, but there has been no call from Hollywood yet. Since leaving university with a brilliant degree, Kate has worked for Greenpeace and other similar organizations, first as a volunteer and now as a manager. She just had her first baby. In the last 10 years, Hannah has been married three times and has lived in Italy, Egypt, France, and Australia. At present, she's running a small restaurant and bar on the Greek island of Kos with her third husband, Nikos. Okay, uh, next. Say two things that each person has, hasn't done. Okay, T say two things that each person has done and each person hasn't done. So, four sentences. Make four sentences. Pause and make. Okay, next. Whose experiences in the last few years are the most surprising and the most interesting? Answer these two questions. Pause and answer these two questions. Thank you. Next, grammar. Underline all the examples of the past simple in exercise 1 and all the examples of the present perfect in exercise 3. Where are the exercise 1s and exercise 3? No, we won't do it. It, it will be too complicated. Uh, look at the time words in the box. Which? Okay, these are the time words. Uh, translate them. Write down in your copybook, vocabulary copybook. Already, five years ago, in 2002, just last year, never, when I was six years old, yet. Exercise one, practice. Use the ideas below to make sentences in the present perfect. Okay, you'll use these ideas and make sentences. For example, this idea, just I go the hairdressers too. And uh, the correct present perfect sentence is, I've just been to the hairdressers. Yeah. Pause and do this exercise. Can we check it? First answer, I haven't finished school yet. Second, I've just had lunch. Is it correct? Pause and check your work again. Now I'll continue reading the answers. Third, I've already been on holiday this year. Fourth, I've never broken an arm or a leg. Fifth, I haven't been to the dentist yet this year. Sixth, I haven't done anything exciting this week. Seventh, I've never met anyone famous. Eighth, I haven't traveled on a plane this year. 9. I haven't done any sport this week. 10. I've never stolen anything. Next exercise. Which of the sentences are true for you? Compare your answers with the partner. Let's read this uh, kind of dialogue. I haven't done any sport this week. It's false. I've played football twice. What about you or how about you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, pause and think about these sentences. Are these sentences true or false? So you should answer this questionnaire. Which of these sentences are true for you? Okay, uh, next exercise. Work in pairs and ask and answer the questions for uh, answer the following questions in the last five, ten years. For example, how many times have you changed school in uh, last five years? For example, yeah. Okay, uh, let's speak together. I will read the questions and uh, after each question, pause and answer. Okay? Okay. Uh, have you been uh, to any foreign countries in the last five years? How many times have you changed uh, your job? How many times have you moved 
house in the last 10 years. Which new sports or interests have you taken up in uh, the last 10 years? Thank you. Next exercise, three. Think of a group of people that you knew five or 10 years ago. For example, schoolmates, colleagues, neighbors, etc. Write a paragraph about what has happened to them. Okay, so looking at this, uh, you must write a similar story to the people you know. They can be your schoolmates, colleagues, or neighbors. Write a paragraph. Pause and do it. Thank you. This is the end of the video.